Hey everyone, today we are going to be searching through three bank straps of $1 bills, so $300 total. And we're gonna be looking for cool serial numbers, uh, old currency, um, any errors on the bills, and we're gonna be looking for star notes. So I will go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is as I go through these straps, I'm gonna fast forward that part on the video, and then I'm gonna bring it back to real time and go through any cool finds. Here we go. All right, we are done searching through that first bank strap of $1 bills. And I will start off by uh, showing that I did find a star note, which is pretty awesome. This is exactly what I'm searching for. So I will set this aside and come back around to it at the end of the video along with any other star notes I might find, and we're gonna check the rarity on those. Then the next uh, few bills here are going to be misaligned bills. The borders are somewhat miscut, and I'll probably just do these one by one so the borders behind it don't interfere with you being able to see. Um, you can tell that the top border is a little bit more narrow than the bottom border. It's not uh, overly misaligned by any means, but it's just starting to get noticeable. So I pulled it out just to kind of point out what I do look for. Uh, the next bill is a little bit more misaligned on that bottom. So this starts getting into something that I like to hold on to. And then this last bill is very misaligned. Um, this right border is barely a border. So these are, it's still actually considered within the parameters because there is still a border. Um, if the bill was actually didn't have a border or have multiple borders, then it would actually be considered an error. But anyway, this is pretty cool to me. So I'm gonna hold on to this and set that aside for now. The next one I pulled out here is just uh, eight unique digits in the serial number. So those could be collectible to some people. Um, I normally don't hang on to them, but just wanted to point out that uh, this next couple are just some examples of gas pump errors or referred to it as uh, odometer or shifted digit. So you can see this two on the upper serial number, it's sitting lower than the other numbers. The shift between the zero and the two, you can kind of see that offset. Uh, and then the next one here, um, I think it's on the lower serial number. Um, yeah, it's not much, but that between the six and the two, you can kind of see an offset. It looks like that. Six might be a little bit high and maybe the two is a little bit low, but anyway, they're not very uh, severe by any means, but uh, these are the best examples I could pull out out of that strap, but I, I won't be holding on to those. Um, this next bill has a serial number that, uh, let's see, the three digit block, 634, repeats again, 634. So I find these somewhat cool. You know, they can definitely be collectible. Uh, it's more cool if four digit blocks repeat. So if it was five, six, three, four, five, six, three, four, or uh, 1634, 1634, that would be pretty cool. But anyway, just pointing out again, something that I watch out for. And these next couple bills have triple pairs. You can see the three, three, nine, nine, and four, four. And then the bill behind it is just a kind of a different combination of having triple pairs. So you can see the um, pairs of twos, the pairs of sevens, and then it's actually got a pair of two sevens. So that you know can be interesting. So pointing that out for the triple pairs, and then these last couple are scattered ladders or broken ladders. So in the serial number, it kind of climbs the ladder. You can see it's made up of two, three, four, five, six, and seven. They are just out of order. And then again, on this bill behind it, one, two, three, four, just out of order. Now this bill uh, is pretty beat up, so most likely won't hold on to it, but this one's in decent shape. And I do like to collect the scattered ladders. And uh, so I'll probably hold on to this one. So that wraps it up for that first bang strap and we'll bring in this second strap. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and go through that same process of fast forwarding as I go through the strap and then I'll bring it back to real time to go through any cool finds. Okay, I am done searching through that second strap of $1 bills, and I did find two more star notes, which is great. Um, here they are, and uh, this one's pretty cool because the serial number is a trinary, so it's only made up of three unique digits. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty cool one. Um, the next one, yeah, it's in pretty rough shape, and there's a big spot, marker spot or something on Washington's head so that kind of stinks um, and it's stained and beat up and crinkled and you know everything else so not not the greatest star note but nonetheless uh, I'm still going to add it to the collection and um, I will add it to that first star note I found and look that up at the end of the video to see how rare these are. So we'll set those aside for now and speaking of trinaries uh, I found two more bills that are trinary serial numbers. It's this next bill. Now the, this bill also has uh, bookends. So that's, uh, you can see the first two digits are 08 and then the last two digits are 08. So anytime they match on the end, it's referred to as a bookend. So it could be, you know, one digit or several digits. So that's pretty cool. Um, moving on to these next. Uh, I've got some examples of over inking and uh, these, uh, the third digit here, the eights are pretty heavy inking going on. And I've said this in pretty much all my videos when I find these, that the 2013 and 2017, this is uh, common to see on the second and third digit. But this is getting to, uh, kind of like a, a point where the inking is getting heavier than what is commonly seen. So if it were in better shape, I'd be more inclined to hold on to it. But I mean, I see this frequently, so I'm just gonna pass on this one, just pointing it out. And uh, then on this one, you can see that two on the lower serial number has some heavy inking on it. And the bill's in a lot better condition, um, but it's kind of borderline, this one on what's common to the amount of over inking that is occurring there. And then on this last one, this one definitely caught my eye. Um, you can see above the serial number, those are green dots. So it's definitely from the uh, same color as the serial number ink. And I love finding these when they have the green ink dots. So this is cool to have found. I do wish it was in better condition. This bill's pretty beat up. Uh, this, this strap just seems to be full of beat up bills and you'll see some more in a minute. Um, but nonetheless, uh, it's still pretty cool and I'll, I'll probably hold on to it. So moving along to these next bills, which are more examples of miscut bills. So I'll just do this uh, one at a time. You can kind of see the right border here is noticeably more narrow than the left border and maybe even the bottom slightly more than the top. And now on these next four bills, um, I found them in pairs where they are sequential and you can kind of see the left borders on these ones are more narrow than the right. And then these next pair are sequential and it's the bottoms that you can see are much more narrow than the top. So I thought that was cool to find them in sequential order like that and two of them in, two pairs of sequential bills in the same strap. Uh, this next one, here's uh, another beat up bill I was uh, referring to, but it's a triple pair, 446622. So like I said uh, before, those are you know pretty neat to me, but this bill, has seen better days, so I'm gonna pass on this one. Uh, this one is a birthday note. Pretty neat to find these. So, a uh, birthday in 1999, March 8th, or it could be, uh, you know, the other way around. It could be uh, August 3rd, whichever way you wanna look at it. 
But again, another example of a really beat up bill and marked up, it's got, I think it's ink right down here on the bottom portion of the bill. So not the best of shape, but I do like to hold on to the birthday notes. I think they're kind of cool. And then uh, these last two examples are scattered ladders. You can see the serial number, one, two, three, four, five, six. And on this last one, wouldn't you know it, once again, another marked up bill. But uh, this uh, scattered ladder is actually all eight unique digits. So it kind of goes in order here, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's definitely a lot more rare to come across when they're um, all eight unique and a scattered ladder. But, you know, too bad this bill has to be all marked up. What are you gonna do? So that's it for strap number two. I'm gonna bring in the third strap of $1 bills. Go through the same process, speed up the video. As I go through them, I'll bring it back to real time to go through anything cool I might find. Okay, I am done searching through that third and final strap of $1 bills and I did find one more star note. So that's pretty awesome. That makes four star notes out of $300. And the star note isn't in the best of shape. It clearly has a pretty good sized tear up on the upper border, but nonetheless, it is a star note. So we'll throw this in with the other three. And at the end of the video, we'll find out how rare they are. So we'll set that aside for now. Moving on to the next bill. Uh, this bill is from 1988. So when I come across bills from the 90s or older, I definitely hang on to those. I enjoy collecting them. And this qualifies as one of them. So this will be going in my collection. I have to insert this clip on the 1988 bill uh, because while I was recording the video, I happened to overlook that this is a web note and a uh, web note, they were experimental bills printed on continuous rolls of paper and they were done in 88, 93 and 95. And the way to determine uh, whether or not you have a web note is by this uh, plate number, the identifier. And you can see right here, all it has is a number. And if it only has a number and no letter with it, it's gonna be a web note. And the other th way to determine that is on the back side, uh, the number is gonna be located on top on a web note and on a regular bill, that number is gonna be on the bottom. And I just have an example here to show the difference on uh, the regular bills will have a letter with the number and then on the back side that number is going to be located on the bottom the web note is on the top so this is really cool um, these are rare and uh, yeah i was just so excited that i found an older bill that i overlooked the fact that it was actually a web note all right we're gonna set that aside move on to this one now this I am just not sure. Um, I know you can see right off the bat on the right border, this green marking. Now it appears to be the same color as the green ink on the serial number and on the stamp. And I was holding it up to another bill to kind of match the green and I mean it, it looks pretty close. So I I want to say that this is green ink from the same green ink that's used on the serial number and the stamp. But the other part of me uh, wants to say it's just a marking with a marker of some sort that just happens to be really close in color. But I don't know. There's no denying how close of a match that color is um, to the other bill, uh, the green on the stamp. And 
So yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna have to look into this one further, study it a little bit more, magnify it maybe, and just try to determine if this is in fact uh, the same green ink that's used on the serial number and on the stamp. If it is, that'd be pretty cool. Um, so I'm hoping so. We'll put that one aside for now and move on to this one, which is another uh, eight unique digits in the serial number. But of course, <laughs> there is a marking on the front of it, so I'm not gonna hold on to this one. It's pretty beat up anyway. But just pointing that out and moving on to these three. Uh, we've got some more misaligned borders. So you can see the left border is more narrow than the right. Um, the top, definitely more narrow than the bottom. This bill is pretty trashed. Um, so probably won't be holding out of that one. And uh, again, the bottom border more narrow than the top. So that's what I found for the miscuts. And here is a triple pair, two, six, and fives. Pretty decent shape. I mean, there's some folding and creasing, but not like some of the other bills I've been coming across. And uh, what do we got here? Uh, scattered ladder. So we have two, three, four, five, and six. And then last one is a gas pump error. And you can see that the eight is sitting pretty low on that upper serial number. So that uh, wraps it up for that third strap. Now we're going to find out how rare those four star notes are. Okay, time to find out how rare these four star notes are. Uh, we're gonna start with this first one. It's a 2013, begins with 1081. I've got it pre-typed into the website. So there you see it, 2013, 1081. And it's got a run size of 3.2 million and there's a 26.1 million total printed. So as indicated by these arrows, it's on the less rare side for sure. Uh, it was in run number four. You can see it indicated by the arrow and there was nine different runs. So yeah, there was a bunch of these printed. So when it comes to star notes, this is a, uh, definitely on the less rare side. Uh, moving along to this 2017, starting with 0235. I've got it in this tab here, and there you go, uh, 2017, 0235. Uh, once again, it's got a, a run of 3.2 million, but way less total printed, uh, just under three and a half million, but still considered you know, on the less rare side. That uh, was in run number one. So we'll move on to this next 2017, starting with 0207. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, 2017, 0207. So once again, uh, another one with run size 3.2 million and almost 10 million total printed. So again, less rare. Uh, we have run number one, uh, there were four runs. So moving along to this last 2017A, starting with 0014. Uh, this one's gonna be 2017A0014. This one's this one's a keeper. This one's really good. Um, it had a run size of only 250,000, and there were only 500,000 total printed. So you can see on these arrows, it's definitely creeping up to being on the more rare side. And uh, I was in run number one, there was only two runs, 250,000 each. So definitely by far, um, this 2017A star note is a great find. Really happy about this one. So thank you so much again for watching.